Hi friends, I'm Sam with Happily Hooked. So today we are doing something a little bit different. Um, we are starting to do some product reviews. We've had a ton of you guys in the comments on the Facebook page and on Instagram say how you wanna know more about other products in the community like hooks and yarn winders and blocking tools, things like that. So today we are starting off with a yarn winder. Um, this one is Stanwood Needlecraft and I'll have all the information in the description below. Um, so we're gonna open it up and check it out and see how well it works. Okay, so this is the Stanwood Needlecraft Yarn Ball Winder hand operated four ounce. And that's what the, the packaging looks like. I ordered this on Amazon. Um, I did cut the box open so I could open it but I haven't actually opened it up yet. So it comes with this little instruction paper to tell you how to how to do it. Ooh. Okay, so it's in a couple pieces. I guess we should probably read the instructions, huh? Well, when I took it out of the box, this part is off. My little yarn holder doodad is down here. It's supposed to be to the upright position. Pull it out fully. Oh, look at that. Okay. And then it closes so you can put it back in the box. All right. And it's sealed back here. So that way if the yarn gets underneath it, it won't loop into the base. All right, so you pull that out there. It actually says to pull on this. You're not gonna break it, so that's what I do. All right, so let's see if I can get this. Let's go like this. Okay. All right, so we got it on there. This little knob here is where it hooks to the table. There's a little piece underneath it. So, looks good. Um, we're gonna clamp it to the table. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see it. We're gonna wind some yarn and see how it works. Okay, so we've got it mounted to the table. There's a little blue knob under here. So this will um, tighten it and loosen it. And then underneath it fits over, now um, this is about a half inch thick table so much thicker than that it's probably not gonna work very well um, not a hundred percent sure I don't have a thicker table to test it at so I don't have um, yarn like a hank or a swift yet for us to test out so I'm just taking yarn that was already caked up and I'm going to see how this works all right so it threads through pretty easy over here this seems to hold it pretty securely. And then, well, it's not the most quiet thing, is it? But I like that it's got these little texture grips. See if I can show you. On the sides of this that hold the yarn. So it kind of like grabs it. I like that a lot. Um, I've used other yarn winders that don't have that. And the yarn just kind of flings off the top. Okay, so as you saw in the video, we had a slight technical difficulty with this. So it just popped off. 
I mean, I'm not sure why it was screwed in the way it was supposed to. I was winding the yarn the way it told me to. I don't know. This is, it just like pops off. This is not what I anticipated. Um, so, so far, not a massive fan. It, I mean, it, it wound the yarn really nice. Like there's no big gaps or anything like that. The yarn stayed on this. Like the yarn hasn't moved. It's, it's on there, but and I know this is a four ounce yarn winder. I was using a five ounce cake, but I, I still have half of this in here, so it shouldn't have shouldn't have had any issue with it. I'm not sure why it did this. It doesn't say anything. It didn't say anything that I had to attach this when I got it either. So that might be might be broken, and I just don't know it. I'm gonna contact them and find out. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, other than the thing falling off, it's good. Like, I like that. But I will check with them and um, we'll do an update video once I hear back, if I, if I hear back. And I will let you guys know um, the outcome of that. So, yeah, that was a fun first review. Um, not what I was expecting, but we'll roll with it and see what happens so next week i'm getting a um, yarn swift so we're going to test that out as well hopefully this is fixed by then and i can give you an update um but yeah you guys have a great rest of your day and don't forget to click on the bell for notifications and like and subscribe to this channel and i'm really excited to be bringing this all to you guys so have a great day and i'll see you next week